Roblox roleplay is super interesting and cool to watch. You guys see that all these animations, all these edits take hundreds of hours for these Roblox YouTubers to perfect. We're going to be going over some of the best Roblox roleplay YouTubers. You guys will see how they do it and also understand how many hours and how much work it takes to get to that point. Welcome back guys, make sure before the video loads up to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. If you guys do these three steps, you have a chance of being entered in our subscriber giveaway. You may just see your channel name shouted out in a future video, so make sure to enter. These Roblox roleplay YouTubers are amazing, they're great at what they do. So without any further ado, let's get right into the countdown. First up, we have Flamingo. Well, Flamingo is actually one of the best Roblox YouTubers of all time. If that doesn't tell you something about him, he actually, when first starting out his YouTube channel, started to do Roblox roleplay. He thought it was a fun way to interact with new subs, and it was an easy way to get views. And he was right. He started racking up a couple hundred thousand views easily each video, and before he knew it, he was sitting that close to 500,000 subs. Once he got to that level, he then stopped doing Roblox roleplay, stopped doing the animations, and he thought it would be a little better idea to actually give a personality behind the channel name. Still though, his YouTube videos amass millions of views each video. So I guess what he's doing is right, but still I miss kind of him going back to those Roblox roleplay days. Man, those were awesome. Next we have Dennis. Dennis, believe it or not, actually used to do Roblox roleplay. And it was really interesting to see how he used to do it. Because a lot of the times when he would be doing these Roblox roleplays, it would ultimately just be to get views as well. He didn't really take time to perfect his craft, kind of putting together weird stories, weird animations, and it's rumored to have taken him maybe two hours and edit, which is actually probably the quickest time someone's ever done it. But he said his quality wasn't that good and he was a little disappointed. His subs were even disappointed at the time when he had 40,000 subs. He then decided to take a big leap of faith, finally revealing himself to the world and letting them know, hey, I'm going to go ahead and do personalized Roblox YouTube videos. Well, it was a great reward risk and he ended up profiting off of it millions upon millions of Roblox subs. And YouTube definitely did him right here. Roblox is definitely the key of saving his YouTube career. And I know Dennis has a lot to thank for, and a lot of people to thank for for helping him get to this point. Up next, we have Poke. Poke is another YouTuber who actually started off doing customized Roblox YouTube videos, from how to get a million Robux in a day, to I almost died in this Roblox game. A lot of his videos amassed thousands of views. Notice how the keyword there is thousands, yes, he has not and I mean until he reached his 100,000 sub mark point, did not get a video actually to go over 500,000 views. And it was crazy at the time, which doesn't really seem like a bad thing, but still, if you have hundreds of thousands of subs, you think at least one video is over a million views, but no, which is actually a good thing for YouTubers. See, a lot of these YouTubers think that views don't really matter and it's the subs that matter. Well, it's the reverse right there. You want to go ahead and make sure that your viewers, aka your subs, are watching every video and enjoying the content. So it's better to focus on the subs, and instead of the views, you want to go ahead and make sure those subs are always coming back. So Poke definitely did it right. He ended up actually going ahead and doing roleplay later on in his career, but now you could find a lot of his videos are the same as those above him, as in Dennis and Flamingo. Even PewDiePie tried roleplay a couple times. My point is, you want to try something and keep trying different methods until something you like works and other people like it, and then you keep at it, perfect your craft, and do what these YouTubers did right here. Ultimately, Roblox Roleplay is a very interesting video marketplace on YouTube. They work really, really hard on their animations. The storyline has to be perfect. It's kind of like they're directing their own little mini film. And a lot of these, honestly, I think could go on a TV show. They're really interesting. If you guys want to check some out, just look up Roblox Roleplays. Look up different games. You'll see them. They're awesome. I definitely recommend it. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. I'm signing off. And as always, see y'all later.